In this lecture, we'll talk about what is dependency injection and we'll also understand how to use it in PHP program. So, what is dependency injection? Dependency injection is a technique to inject one class in another. The injected class can be injected through constructor, setter function or instructor. Now, let me show you a very simple example to understand dependency injection. So, I'm going to simply create here a new class and I'm going to name that class first class. In this class, I'm going to create a new property, public property, where one and specify value to it. And in this class, I'm going to create a new public method, get value, and I'm going to just return this property, just like this. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a new class. So down here, I'm going to create a new class and name this class second. In this class, I'm going to create a new public property, where two, and I'm going to initialize it with empty string. Just out of that, I'm going to create a constructor of this second class. So I'm going to create here a new constructor and I'm going to pass argument to this constructor. So in the constructor, I'm going to call the first class. So I'm going to create a, so I'm going to create a variable of the type first class. So when we create an object of this second class, we're going to pass object of this first class. Just out of that, in the constructor, I'm going to just set this, then specify the property and initialize it with the first class property. So when you try to echo this value, this property is going to echo this message. Now, as you can notice here, in the constructor, as an argument, we call the first class object. Now, when you pass this first class object as a parameter to this constructor, it's going to call this property and specify this value to this second class property. Now, let me just call this second class object. So I'm going to create a second class object down here. So I'm going to first create this first class object. To create the first class object, I'm going to just create a variable class one and then specify new keyword with the class name. Just after that, I'm going to create this second class object. So I'm going to simply create class two. New is equal to second class. And as you know, we have argument to this constructor. So we need to pass parameter to this parenthesis. So in the parenthesis, I'm going to pass class one. So I'm going to pass this object as a parameter of this second class. So as you can notice, this parameter is going to pass to this argument and I'm going to have this first class value in this property. When I try to echo this property, it's going to return this first class value. So this is what we call the constructor dependency injection. If you want to remove this first line, you can write the code like this as well. You can pass this new keyword with the class name in this parenthesis as well. So now you can remove this first line just like this you will get the same result here. Now, as you can see in the constructor, I can access the property of the first class without using inheritance. So using dependency injection, I'm going to use the properties and methods of the dependent class very easily. Now you can notice we haven't used inheritance here to access the property or method of the child class. Instead, I'm going to use here dependency injection to access this property and method of this class. Now, if I get rid of this statement and if I say here echo class one and just call this function, then the result would same. I'm going to get this value as a result because I'm going to return that because as you can notice, we just return that value using this method. Keep in mind, if the first class has protected property, it means here if I have protected, if you have this method protected, you can't access any of these property or method because protected property or method can be accessed only using inheritance. Now you can notice this is a very simple example to understand how dependency injection work. Now the question comes in where you can use this dependency injection. You can use DI or you can say dependency injection when working with MySQL database to get the connection. For example, in the first class, I'm going to just create a connection and then I'm going to access that connection to insert or update any data in the database or you can use dependency injection to get any public property or method of the class and there are many ways you can use dependency injection so i hope you understand how dependency injection work in php if you like short videos like this make sure to subscribe and like this video i will see you in the next one